IQ4 is the next generation of irrigation central control from Rainbird. IQ4 provides remote access to Rainbird commercial controllers, such as the ESP LXD, ESP LXME, and LXIVM. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to set up a commercial irrigation system in IQ4. Once the registration is complete, log into IQ4 using the access link provided by Rainbird. Once you're logged in, you'll see the default site. To begin a setup, it's recommended that you first define your preferences, which can be accessed through your user profile. In this window, you can adjust the language, date and time formats, units of measure, and more. Before setting up a site, a weather source should be defined. The weather source can be set through System Setup. Click on the orange plus button to add a weather source. In this example, you can see the various parameters for a weather source. The weather is set using the Global Weather option. A new site can be added through System Setup. Click on Sites. You can either use the default site as a starting point or create a new site. Click on the orange plus button to create a new site. Enter the parameters for the new site. This is an example of a new site with a weather source added to it. Click Save to add this new site to the list of sites. Click on the site to open the controllers window. This window also allows access to define the landscape types and sprinkler types, which can be used to select stations for group editing. Click the orange plus button to add a new controller, then choose a controller type. Now you can set up the controller. In this example, we have an ESP LXME controller being used as a direct satellite, along with IP connection and IQ4 weather source. Click Save to add the controller to the list of controllers. Click on the controller to see its details. At the top of the left side bar, you'll find some high-level controller functions. Click Edit to access additional setup details for the controller. Here you can define simul stations, flow watch, flow manager, rain delay, etc. For controllers with IP connection, the modules can be detected as well. Once the controller setup is complete, the programs can be edited. Click on a program, then click Edit. Here you can set up program adjust, start days, and start times. After making your adjustments, click Save. Click the orange plus button to add stations to this program. Click on the stations you want to add and click Submit. The stations will then be added to the program station list. Click on a station to add the base runtime. Save these settings by clicking OK and then Save. Shown here is an example program with four stations its base runtime, as well as its adjusted runtime. Click the Back button to return to the controllers, then click Master Valves. Click on the default Master Valve to edit its details, such as name, type, solenoids quantity, flow zone, and flow rate. Click Save to continue. Click on Sensors for a list of automatically generated weather sensors. Click on one of the sensors to modify its details. Here's an example of a flow sensor. You can change the name and model. The details of the master valve and sensors can be used to define station parameters. Click Stations to see the list of stations available in the controller. Click on a specific station to modify station parameters, such as name, priority, flow rate, landscape and sprinkler type, cycle and soak, sensors, master valve, etc. Click Save to return to the list of stations. Now the setup is complete and ready to synchronize with the controller in the field. We recommend reverse synchronization to load the controller data into IQ4. Click on the Reverse button on the top of the left side bar. After reverse synchronization is complete, the irrigation system is ready to be accessed and monitored through IQ4. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit our website.